Yo, it's your boy Addo, gonna be doing a quick team of the week review for you, letting you know my thoughts and opinions on it, who the best players are. So, for those of you that did get elite, it's quite frustrating, it's not the best team in the week by any means. The best players out there, on the base of it, from the first 11 are Abamyang, Lewandowski and Bruno Fernandes. And the annoying thing about that as well is, Abamyang's better version is the headliner, and it's better because it's gonna get another upgrade because of this one, and it's in a better position. Also, Bruno Fernandes already has a shapeshifter version. Lewandowski already has a headliner version, so his headliner is going to be better than this. And it's the same with Patrick Van Aanholt. He also has a shapeshifter version, which is higher rated than this. But we'll go ahead and look at them anyway, check out their stats. So looking at the reserves, see if there's any sort of players that are usable if you did get them in your red player picks. From the base of it, probably Niang might, might look like a sort of usable player. Possibly Marisic, but his shooting doesn't look that great. Matchis looks like a not, not a bad centre mid as a sub. And uh, <coughs> obviously Patrick Van Arnholt, but he's got his other sort of better versions. We'll look at Matchis, see if his stats are pretty good or not. His finish is not that great. He's got insane agility, balance and pretty good dribbling. He's quite fast, so he's not the worst of subs if your team ain't that great. Probably put a dead eye on him, use him as... Uh, with 5 chem to buff his sort of finish and give it a plus 4. Patrick Van Arnholt, he's already, like I said, got his 84 version, so this one's kind of irrelevant, although they've got the same pace, but the defensive stats and physical uh, and passing are the main differences. So it's not the worst of cards, like I said, but it makes it kind of irrelevant. If you used to put a chem card on this, if you were to start it, I'd suggest going for an anchor. That buffs his pace to near enough max, gives him decent defending and gives him a bit more strength and aggression. So we'll look at and buy Niang as well as a potential sub. Good agility, good dribbling, terrible balance. Finishing not great either, but he's rapid, he's quite strong as well. Possibly a dead eye as well on 5 chem just to buff his finishing like I said with the other player. So if we put him on 5 chem now, you'll see that it gives him the four finishing, a bit of shot power and a bit of curve as well. You can use something else if you like as well. Depends what you think is the best, but not the greatest of subs either, but if it's free and you need players, why not? So we'll look at Bruno Fernandes. The main difference between this and his shapeshifter card is obviously, apart from his work rate, is obviously the pace. The, the difference is quite insane. You'd probably put a Hunter card on this just to make him quite faster. And it's, it's not a bad card, the biggest downside to it is obviously the high high because he'll start track, tracking back quite a lot. And 81 agility is not that great at this sort of stage of the game. But aside from that, it looks like a pretty good card. So, we'll look at Cordoba, see if he's usable or not. Yo, he's, got, he's got really bad agility, his dribbling's okay, his other stats look pretty good. Great shot power, bad long shots and finishing, and he's rapid and very strong as well. Not sure what what chem card is, is the best to go on him. Possibly a basic, it buffs his sprint speed, gives him a bit more agility, dribbling, and shot power, but then you're negating the finishing. So I'd probably, I'm not really sure. It's not it's not the greatest of cards, like I said. Possibly even a whole faster, a bit more finishing if you're not that concerned about the agility. It's quite hard to, to buff the dribbling, shooting, and pace, because there ain't nothing that does all of that, aside from basic, but you don't get the finishing. So, Big Lewandowski, the hitman who absolutely ripped Chelsea. So we'll go ahead and check what's best to put on him. I suggest using a, an engine if you're gonna start him just because he lacks agility. He's, got, he's already got good dribbling, but he really does lack agility. So that helps it out and it gives him a bit more pace as well. His shooting stats are ridiculous and his physical stats as well. But he's already got his 93 headliner. And like I said, it's gonna be getting buff i believe it has to stay two overalls ahead of the inform or maybe it's one but i think it's two so you should be getting an upgrade of that one same applies for bam yankees his headliner as well should be getting a plus one or plus two just to stay ahead of his inform but if you was to use this one i suggest probably opting for like a sniper which will give him 10 agility and 10 dribbling just because that's his stats are trash when it comes to the dribbling aspect of on FIFA also gives him good balance and composure if you want I know some you don't have to use a sniper people opt for other stuff you can also you can also run a maestro which will give him just five 
agility though but then that buffs his shooting as well so that's kind of personal preference but yeah it, it's kind of annoying that they get team of the week finally and then they've already got a better card but in this case it kind of helps because it gives his headliner a buff so that's the team of the week 24 that's my quick review and sort of thoughts on it let me know what you think down below in the comments it's been your boy don't forget to like and subscribe it leaves me one more thing to say safe